This is how you manually run order cycles for the COTPS software or whatever you want to call this system, this AI system. First thing, the wallet balance here, that's your entire assets. You see those match and that the transaction would say zero. The transaction must say zero before you start this. If you've just done one of these order runs, I call them order runs, order cycles, which I'll show you in a second, most of your wallet balance will be over here. So if your balance is over here tied up in a transaction for the two hours and 12 or 13 minutes that it takes for all that to reconcile and come back into your wallet, don't do this. Now you can't do this if your wallet balance is less than $5. So when I get done with this, you'll see that my wallet balance will be down under $5 and the difference will be over here in the transaction, completing the transaction and then reconciling. And as it reconciles over the course of two, two and a quarter hours or so, the funds will eventually make their way back here and this will go to zero. So how do you know when it's time to run, when you can run another one of these transactions? You know it's time when this says zero. And if you're using the automation bot, that's actually what the automation bot will look for. It will look to make sure that this says zero and that you have a balance more than $5. If both those conditions are not satisfied, it won't run it. You don't need the bot. The bot just does this process for you. So it's very simple. You click this button. It will search and find you available price differences and it will calculate how much of your balance would be needed to run that. You see market price, transaction price is just a one penny difference for each of those. So when I run that, it doesn't seem like a lot, but when you do it with 2008 USDT, it comes out to however much profit. So that'll make $6 in profit, it's telling me. It's gonna use this much, here's the order number, it's going to use, uh, make that much profit. And let me shrink this down so I can get to the button. Now I just confirm it. Now that I've confirmed it, you see that 2008 has moved into my transactions and I have this much left in my wallet. So I'm going to keep running this until this gets down to $5 so I can maximize the funds that I have in there for another transaction, for another bit of profit. Uh, this is coming from an exchange in India, it looks like. And when I choose to sell that, it'll tell me again how much profit. So this one's gonna make $4.21. Okay, now again, you see, more funds have moved over into the transaction, less wallet balance. Now it's gonna look for transactions that fit within this budget. It's gonna look across a whole bunch of crypto exchanges globally looking for differences in price on particular coins. And here it's found one that is actually very different. That's going to take up 2702 in my USDT. I don't know what region that is, but I don't really care. The transactions it's showing you are only going to be the profitable transactions from what I've seen. So this one will make $2. I've got five, um, 449 left, so just run this down until it gets down below 5. In other words, it hasn't shown a transaction that wouldn't be profitable. So I don't know why you would ever choose to not do any of these transactions. But this is the basis for how the bot works so well, the bot being the automation script that our team uses because it's just going to go ahead and confirm everything. If you're using the bot, once you activate it, you are agreeing that you're just going to go ahead and confirm and take all the transactions that COTPS offers to you. You don't have to. You can cancel it and try to get another one. So we got $23 left is all. Profit on this is going to be small, but that's okay. We'll take it. It's only a couple cents, six like seconds, six cents in a couple seconds. Now you see the withdrawal balance, $1.24 or 1.24 USDT. The difference is over here, 45.63. And if we look at the trades that we just did, let's see, 17.55. Okay, good. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six transactions. 602, 421, 210, 96 cents, 309. So it's what, 10, 20, 12, 30, 13 dollars and 30, well, about 13 dollars and 40 cents. So now if I take out the time of me talking here and I just click, 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 basically in six, in uh, 60 seconds or so, you made $13.40. Keeping in mind that this amount, as this increases, you'll have more funds available to run these transactions. So it will start showing you bigger volume transactions and you'll have more transactions. The math on this, last time I did it, came out to about 0.3% profits per run. So if you take this and you calculate 0.3%, so 3% would be multiplying by 0 0.03. 0.3% would multiply this by 0 0.003. That's about what each run generates. And so if you're, if you're doing this manually and you're doing it 10 times a day, obviously that'd be about 3% per day. Sometimes a little bit more. If the automation bot is running, it's going to do it every about two hours and 14 minutes, depending on the time frame you set, and that will be how you would maximize. If you don't have the bot, just run them manually until your balance gets up to 500 here, and then reach out to the person who referred you and ask them how to get access to the bot.